January 12th, 2010, a catastrophic magnitude 7 earthquake rocks Haiti. Thousands are killed and injured. Nearly a million people are left homeless. It's a violent reminder of the Earth's power. We know that these earthquakes are going to happen. There's no doubt. It's really a matter of when will they happen. Vancouver Island's largest historic earthquake occurred in 1946. Seismologist John Cassidy says the magnitude 7.3 event was not nearly as destructive as the earthquake that struck Haiti in 2010. In Haiti, it was primarily that the earthquake was so close to a city, essentially beneath the city, and there were no building codes that, uh, there was no protection for those buildings. It was the quality of construction, the standards, the, um, the codes that were lacking. Just over a month after the earthquake in Haiti, a massive 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake occurs off the coast of Chile. It triggers a tsunami which devastates several coastal towns. Cassidy says it's exactly the type of earthquake expected off our coast, where the ocean plate is being pushed slowly beneath Vancouver Island. We know that those same types of earthquakes occur here. There have been 13 during the past 6,000 years. So we can see in the geological record what has happened and how often those occur. These earthquakes around the world are important for us as scientists, but they're also important for the public to see what happened and how to be better prepared here. I believe the residents in New Zealand were well prepared, well educated. This photograph illustrates the dangers of falling debris. It was taken by Victoria's emergency coordinator following September's 7.1 magnitude earthquake, which struck New Zealand's South Island. We really want you to follow that drop cover hold on and uh, take that seriously. That really is the best process that you can follow immediately during an earthquake. It's the one that's proven to save lives and reduce injuries in earthquakes in North America. If we have a population that's aware of what to expect, knows what to do during the shaking, this will really make a huge difference. We'll reduce the impact of that earthquake when it happens. If you're near the ocean during an earthquake and the shaking lasts longer than one minute or makes it difficult for you to stand up, the experts say you should head to higher ground as soon as possible. You can find earthquake information online at preparevictoria.ca or visit the Provincial Emergency Preparedness website, pep.bc.ca. In Victoria, Eric Thompson, A News.